well, uh, beloved people, well, beloved people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with, uh, with me in a very, very mighty way this past uh, The Lord Yahweh, the creator of heaven and the earth, he has spoken with me in a very, very astounding way this past night about a massive revival that is coming up to Lima, Peru. And this is very shocking because there is a big attention that the Lord is giving to Lima, Peru many months before the meeting. The meeting in Lima, Peru takes place in November, but at this time, the Lord is relentlessly speaking about the massive visitation that is coming up to Lima, Peru. So this past night, the Lord took me to Lima, Peru, and he took me way in advance into the month of November at the time when that meeting was taking in Lima, Peru. And uh, immediately the prophets of the Lord walk into the nation and walk into the ground of the meeting. I see the command heaven to open. The massive rain pours down in a very, very shocking event that stuns the whole earth. Massive rain falls down into the meeting in Lima, Peru. And then after that, I see a lot of the pastors are coming. They are asking, what is next now? This is so big. What should we do next? What should we do next? There's a big conversation going on there with the pastors. As I prepare, as now I prepare to leave the land. And it's such a tremendous historic visitation that takes place in Lima, Peru. And I'm going to say, Lima, Peru is coming in November this year, the end of this year. But you can see the Lord is speaking about Lima, Peru, Lima, Peru revival. As though the Lord is saying, I cannot wait. He cannot wait for the meeting in Lima, Peru. Again, last night the Lord took me to Lima, Peru, and he presented, he presented me into the tremendous meeting of Yahweh that is coming up in Lima, Peru. I have already lived to see that meeting. I've already seen that meeting. And at that meeting, as the Lord brings me to Lima, Peru, then I command heaven to open in the meeting. The heaven opened and rain poured down. Massive rain poured down. It's very shocking. Event has stunned the whole earth. The entire earth is caught in shock, in a very deep shock. I saw pastors from all over the world asking, how can you come to our country? What should we do? What does this mean to the, towards the coming of the Messiah? All senior pastors across the globe began to ask the question running, and asking, what should we do? How should we handle this visitation now? And the pastors in Peru, all of them coming to me, I was talking to some of them, and they were saying, what should we do now? What does this mean to us, the coming of the Messiah? Can you help us now? And this was a very shocking time in this conversation. The Lord is speaking about Lima, Peru. Lima, Peru. He, he can't wait for that revival. That many, many, many bishops in Kenya, including pastors, are going to start preparing for the Lima Peru revival. And we are going to be such a large delegation that is going to visit uh, to accompany the prophet of the Lord, the mightiest, mightiest messenger of the Bible, uh, to Lima Peru, because the Lord is speaking about Lima Peru revival. So it seems like what the Lord is planning to do with Lima Peru is very big, and he wants to fast track it. As track the visitation to Lima Peru, the revival of righteousness, the revival of holiness. Revival of repentance, revival of turning away from sin in Lima, Peru. So may the Lord bless the nations that hearken to this voice and that you may prepare the way and be holy and turn away from sin and prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Remember, I have seen the coming of the Messiah. The Lord has shown me the Messiah coming to take a glorious church, to take a holy church. The Lord is speaking about Lima, Peru at this hour. He's speaking in a very mighty way about the revival coming up in Lima, Peru. And I know that the majority of the National Council of Bishops, including the pastors in Kenya, will be preparing from this point henceforth about going to Lima, Peru. May the Lord bless our Lord Jesus Christ as he prepares to come to the glorious church. May the Lord bless the Holy Spirit that is out in the church. May the Lord bless the nation to hearken to this and prepare in righteousness. Shalom to the Messiah is coming.